Welcome, David, Hanan. to the Edition Residences. Guys, this is Hanan. She is a great part of the sales team, and she's going to lead us today with this project. Please join me to introduce you to the Edition Residences. Welcome to the Edition Residences, David. Thank you, thank you. I don't even know where to start. There are so many questions I have about this project, but I'm going to try to stay focused. First, would you please give us an introduction? Who is the great team behind here? Yes, uh, absolutely. Of course, this is the first of its kind edition residences in the world, and it's developed by three curators or visionaries. There's nothing more beautiful when water is intertwined with land. If you actually looked at a map in Miami and you put your finger right down in the middle of it, you'd probably hit Edgewater. There is a certain sense of family and community in Edgewater that I found to be very different in the different pockets of Miami. And I love that about this particular location. Right behind, you can go into Wynwood. A little bit to the side is what is now the famous design district. You'll be able to go right out your front door and walk right down to the Payam Art Museum and see some of the greatest art in the world. Oh, please join me to introduce you to the Edition Living. We are going to start our journey right here, but before we enter into the Edition Living, I want to introduce to you what the Edition is about. The Edition is part of the Marriott Group, one of the world's biggest hospitality companies. And today, the Edition has been ranked by Forbes magazine as one of the hottest hotel brands in the world. Welcome to the Edition. Uh, guys, the showroom is amazing. They've done a great job here. Hanan, can you please show us different regimes with where you can go at night from this building, how you can commute using uh, the highway scene here, all different regimes so that we can have it for our listeners. Yes, thank you, viewers. David. This is really designed in a way to show our future residents of the edition what is in proximity to their home. So we have an, a way to introduce you to all the different pockets of Miami. What you see here in green is what we call Edgewater. And the reason it's called Edgewater is it's literally on the edge of the water. What's close to the addition residences, which are located right over here on the edge of the water, is we have access to two major highways, literally five minutes away from the residences Excellent. that can take you to the airport. We also have access to Miami Beach, which is the hot place in Miami, of course. Three different ways to access Miami Beach. Again, all the causeways, one, ten, two, and the one over there. Yes, three ways. And it's literally 10 minutes to Miami Beach. As the city of Miami is evolving, we also have parks. So again, the addition residences are here just across the bay. We have major waterfront, bayfront park, Margaret Pace Park, and dining. Everybody wants to dine in Miami. Uh, it's become the hub for many Michelin star restaurants. So over here we have Miami Design District and Wynwood, which are home to those Michelin star chefs. And of course, we have entertainment. We're in renown for basketball. Uh, we're about 10 minutes max driving to the even, arena. I think even less. Yeah, yeah you can even get there less. Faster. It depends on the traffic. You can even walk there, which is what's really nice about this neighborhood is the walkability. And as Miamians, we're very big clubbers. We have a lot of nightlife in the neighborhood and we also have arts and culture. We have Broadway shows that are held in the I've Arch Center that right are just here. right over here. We have the Frost and Perez museums that are in proximity to the, to the residences. And the important part from a real estate perspective is that the addition residences are on Bayfront with water on both sides and unobstructed views. This is very rare today to find in Miami. So I want to say two words. So just like you pointed out, there is no traffic coming through. This is a dead end. So you have water on both sides, 
There will be not too much uh, passing through cars in here. It's a private, kind of gives a private feel, exclusive feel. Yes, and absolutely. And we'll talk more about that point later. Yes, and it's a view that's not only good during the day, but also at nighttime you have spectacular uh, light shows because you see all of the Miami Beach uh, skyline. Last but not least is the education for our new generation. Everything that you see highlighted here is an opportunity for education for the kids and families that are going to be joining us as Very residents. I want to introduce you to the actual building. Mm -hmm. So we're going to navigate uh -huh. the building together All right. where I will introduce you the residences. So the first, I would like to start with amenities before we go to the units itself. Can you tell us about amenities of this park? Of course, our amenities are located on the eighth and ninth floor. That's going to be home to our 30,000 square feet of elevated amenities. Mm -hmm. Basically how it is, is that the ninth floor is all our wellness. So our wellness is going to include a full-fledged addition spa. Mm -hmm. And it of course has our fitness lounge, which has state-of-the-art equipment. And it will also have a Pilates lounge, yoga lounge. The, all the wellness is gonna be on the ninth floor. Then we go to the eighth floor, which is more of a social scene. We have a screening room, we have a golf simulator, mm -hmm. a teen room. We also have a private chef dining room and a bar and lounge. Okay. Now, I see that the building is designed certain way as if it's in sections. Is there something to that or it's just one building with the same level of units? No, you're absolutely right, David. So the building is divided into three tiers. Mm -hmm. The first tier is from the third to the seventh floor, which is what we call our Bayfront residences. Our okay. Bayfront residences, they bear like a yacht-like living because they're very much close to the water. This is structured as a three bedroom, which is around 3,000 square feet, a one plus den, which is just under 2,000 square feet, another one plus den, and then th another three bedroom. Then we arrive eighth and ninth floor, which we just mentioned our amenities. And then the second part of the building is from the 10th floor all the way to our 30, 41st floor. And that is our That's signature. Right here, right? Yeah, that's a right about there. So here, the configuration changes a little bit. This is still three bedrooms here, but it's slightly smaller. It's 2,700 square feet. And then in the center, we have a two plus den, a two plus den and another three bedroom. You'll realize that the design feature of the residence starts with a seven foot deep terrace and goes wide up to almost 12 feet. And then there's a little nice design feature here Curves on the out. angling curving out. We then arrive to the third part of the building, which is our sky residences. Our sky residences are exceptionally generous in terms of spacing because the um, residences are four bedrooms, which are 3,800 square feet, then a two plus study, which is almost 3,000 square feet, and then last but not least, another three bedroom. Then so now the, about the penthouses, I always ask this question about my particular client that we spoke. Uh, can you give us more details about availability? Yes, absolutely. So the penthouses today, we have two penthouses. Each are 10,000 square feet in terms of interior living. The good news is that they're very modulable. Uh, we are in a stage in the development where we're early enough that the potential owner can have the possibility to really design the penthouse up to his likings. The penthouses are on the 53rd and, uh, and above, and it's going to be in two floors format currently. Top floor is a rooftop where you will have your private pool and outdoor dining. Mm -hmm. Now the depth of the balconies, we can see from here mostly 12 feet on the higher floors. It has uh, less of the edge there. What about the ceiling? Are they higher than in the other units or the same? Yeah, that's a very good question, David. So most of the building is 10 feet. In the penthouses, they're up to 12 feet high. Let's look at the south side. I have some questions there as well. Can you tell us about the pool and then this structure? And then what is the future for that area? What's the Yeah, absolutely. So the pool here is located on the south side, is private to the addition residences. Mm -hmm. It's right on the edge of the water and it's nestled like in an oasis of palm trees. Uh -huh. We then have a additional 15,000 square feet of amenities to Amazing. the 30,000 that I mentioned before. Amazing. 
So we have a total of 45,000 square feet Correct. of amenities. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. And in, in the 15,000 that are additional, we also have another fitness uh, lounge, we have a juice bar, we have another pool, two pickleball courts, and a basketball court. Beautiful. Does this piece of land also belongs uh, to you guys, or this is something else? No, absolutely, uh, David. This whole parcel is owned by Two Roads, our developer, and it will be fully managed by the Marriott Group. There is a project to build two more buildings, which will be residential buildings developed by Two Roads and managed by the Marriott Group. It's good to know for the buyers, but from what I see from my perspective, they're not really blocking the views because this tower mostly focused on that side, on the east side, with all the balconies, all the main living area, kitchens, and etc. So I think that the future of these two structures, whenever they take place, should not affect too much of the view. You're absolutely right. The, uh, these two structures, in terms of foundations, will all be built at the same time as the addition. So the big part of the foundations will be covered at the same time. But from an obstruction perspective, the addition, 70% of your views of your residents are really facing Agreed. east and on Biscayne Bay. So all Agreed. your major great rooms, the kitchen, the master bedroom, everything is facing Biscayne Bay and Miami Beach skyline. Only one bedroom might be slightly affected by this uh, new other building. Anand, that's been great. Thank you very much. I think it's about time we look at the finishes. Yes, absolutely. I would like to welcome All you us, into the uh, model residence that we have. Uh, we're going to um, start off by our model residence of a three bedroom on the south side you of just, the building. You just can't appreciate this view enough. Take a look. Yes, it is spectacular. You see the Biscayne Bay, Miami Beach skyline and the ocean beyond. And like we mentioned earlier, David, this view is spectacular during the day and also during the night. Um, and if you would follow me, we'll get into the kitchen. David, I'm going to introduce the kitchen. Personally, my nicest part of this kitchen, and if you're into cooking, is this gas burner, Wolf gas burner. Our appliances are Sub-Zero and Wolf, which are one of the most high-end appliances in the market. We also have a very generous um, fridge and yeah, huge freezer. Size. Mega huge. big, um, 30 inches wide each wow. one. And we have as well, of course, oven and microwave. And we have a wine cooler, which is here. You can see it, it's a 25 inch wine cooler. Everything that you see here is standard for all of the residences. Guys, let's talk about floors. Tell us, Hanan. Yes, yeah, so the floors that you see here today in the gallery are wood floors. This would be an upgraded option, but we will be delivering all of the residences with porcelain tile um, uh, tiles that look exactly the same as the wood floor finishing, and you have three options of colors. Beautiful. And the walls, the panels? So the walls, anytime you're going to see in the gallery wood paneled walls, those are all upgrades. Mm -hmm. So if you want to have the wood panels, absolutely, but just know it's going to be an upgrade. Understood. So welcome to the owner's suite bathroom. One unique feature about this bathroom is the new trend in bathrooms is a wet room. So as you can see here, there is a shower and we have our custom bathtub that are all enclosed in one space. And if you are on a south residence or a north residence, you also get the Biscayne Bay view. Beautiful. Everything you see is with stone-honed dolomite. All the walls will be covered with stone-honed dolomite and Italian cabinetry, and that's going to be considered as uh, part of the residence, how it's delivered. Guys, Addition is a worldwide known brand as a hotel manager. However, this will be the first ever Addition residence starting in Miami. To build a foundation for future locations, they're going to bring all the best they can here, as we can see so far reviewing this property. So if you're interested in a primary place, this is probably a great place for you. However, if you want to have more of a rental investment place, this would not work because you can rent it for at least six months at a time. Guys, take a look at these views. Now, the building will be right here this old building will be demolished and instead of that the addition is going to build its first addition residence 
Keep in mind that the new building will be much more close to the water, almost on the edge of the water, not the way this building stands now. Guys, another important fact about this project is that it will have 800 linear feet of seawall. All right, guys, this was Addition Residences. Our review is coming to the end. Hanan, it was a great help. Thank you very much. I'm David Arzumanian, hopefully your realtor from Miami. Please subscribe to my channel, follow us. And if you have any interest for any of the units in this property, please contact me immediately. Again, Hanan, thank you very much. Thank you, David. I appreciate thank all the you. help. And uh, we are looking forward to seeing you and welcoming you at the Addition Residences in Edgewater, Miami.